this is the solution to written homework 25. Okay, so <clears throat> recall that y to exponent m over n is by definition the nth root of y and then you raise this to exponent m and importantly the denominator has to occur first that is to say the radical has to occur first so as a result of this that equation that's given is equivalent to the cube root of x plus 2 and then this raised to the 4 is 16. Okay, so we want to get this x by itself. <coughs> so now uh, we want to compute radical 4 of both sides. So fourth root of cube root of x plus 2 and then this to 4 is fourth root of 16. Now we also need to recall before we can get further So if you sort of ignore all the stuff that's happening in there, we're computing fourth root of blah to four. So we're doing something that looks like this. Nth root of y to n. Nth root of y to n. And when n is an odd uh, natural number, the exponent and the radical cancel. But when n is an even natural number, uh, this is absolute value of y. So this is when n is even. And in this case, n is 4, which is even. So this radical and that exponent don't, don't completely cancel. Uh, they change in absolute value. So the absolute value of the cube root of x plus 2 is the fourth root of 16. And the fourth root of 16 is 2. So absolute value of the cube root of x plus 2 is 2. So now, ignoring what's in the absolute value for a moment, in order to get 2 to come out, we could put in a 2. So if what I'm covering here is a 2, that would work. And if what I'm covering here was a negative 2, that would also work. So the solution branches into two pieces. The cube root of x plus 2 uh, could be negative 2 or the cube root of x plus 2 could be 2. So now in either case to get rid of the radical on the right hand side you move it to the uh, to get rid of the radical on the left hand side you move it to the right hand side as an exponent. So x plus 2 and then equal to negative 2 cubed or x plus 2 equal to 2 cubed so then x plus 2 is negative 8 or x plus 2 is 8 so x is negative 10 or x is 6. So let's make sure that sounds reasonable. So negative 10 plus 2, that's 8. Uh, sorry, negative 8. 
the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2, and negative 2 to exponent 4 is 16, so that's good. And then if x is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, cube root of which is 2, fourth exponent of which is 16. Okay, good. Part B. Okay. <clears throat> so in part B, uh, we'll form groups. Groups. Uh, like this. So m to 4 plus m to 3 and then plus negative m minus 1 equal to 0. In each group, we'll factor out the greatest common factor, so m cubed out of the first group, and that would be m plus 1, and then negative 1 out of the second group, and that leaves m plus 1. So we can see that m plus 1 appears in both positions. We're so happy about that, because that means we probably did what was expected. That also means that m plus 1 can be factored out. And the other terms get routed into their respective positions. So that would be m cubed minus 1 multiplied by m plus 1 is equal to 0. And so now the uh, equation splits into pieces because we have a product equal to 0. So it must be the case that m cubed minus 1 is 0, or the other possibility is that m is negative 1 from that one. So this one is finished. This one ha has yet to be finished. So now here's where the hint comes in. You will need the difference of cubes formula and also the quadratic formula. There are four solutions. So this is a single solution, so that it must be the case that this one contains three solutions. OK. So the difference of cubes formula, recall, that a cubed minus b cubed is a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared. So that's the difference of cubes formula. And as a result, applying it to this, m cubed minus 1 is m minus 1 multiplied by m squared plus m times 1, so m, and then plus 1. <clears throat> okay, so that's the factorization. And if this is equal to 0, so this product equal to 0, that implies that m is 1, or m squared plus m plus 1 is 0. Okay, So in this case, now this one split off to here and is finished, and this one to here. So here's one solution. So I guess I'll start circling them. So this is one of the solutions. The work that we just did got another solution. And apparently, according to the hint, since there's four solutions and we have found one, two, it must be the case that this one contains two solutions. So we'll use the quadratic formula on that one. Use the quadratic formula to solve that one. So m is negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 uh, squared minus 4 times 1 times 1. And then this divided by 2. So m 
is uh, negative 1 plus or minus. Well, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, and that's under the radical, so that's square root 3. And then I'll factor out the negative as the unit complex, the unit imaginary number i. So here are the last two solutions. So therefore, the solutions are m is negative 1 m is 1, m is negative 1 minus square root 3, i, over 2, and the other, and last one, negative 1 plus the square root of 3, i, over 2. And that's the answer.